to be wary, and if I may be so bold, I should avoid going into that room when I'm not around. They can be very dangerous, and I'm talking from experience. I shall leave you now. Dr. Seward is waiting for you in his office. Dr. Seward is... Jonathan, at last you're here. We were so worried. I'm here, and I'm alright. So then, what did you discover? It seems that Carfax is not quite as deserted as we thought. Hmm, I see what you mean. I've been noticing some very odd things there for some time now. All this is becoming rather disturbing. Have you found anything out about that ring that I brought back? I've been able to reconstruct its history, thanks to Mina, who has transcribed the wax cylinders which were recorded as a favor to me by a historian friend of mine. My attacks are so frequent that I don't have much time to work, and Seward insisted that I rest, but I wanted to help you. What have you discovered? The last known trace of the ring was back in 1442. It seems it belonged to Radu, a Romanian prince and the half-brother of Dracula. But there's more to it. Apparently, the ring is incomplete. In fact, in the engravings described, the ring is shown with a kind of diamond in its center. According to my friend's documents, this stone had the virtue of counterbalancing the evil side of the ring. We don't know anymore, but it's certain that Dracula will do everything he can to get it back. I'm a bit of a cold, guys. <coughs> Does the name Styx mean anything to you? It's the river of hell in Greek mythology, but I think it's also the name of a theater in London, isn't it? Yes, in fact it's all the rage now. A hall where a cinematographer shows horror films. There's a mystery surrounding the identity of the owner, but I've done some investigating and have found nothing in the least bit suspicious. You'd better think again. I found proof at Carfax that Dracula is the owner of the Styx. My god, I've read that all London is lining up to go there. It's a fact that we cannot ignore, but it's very unlikely that the Styx is our principal target. To defeat Dracula once and for all, we have got to find his lair and strike at the heart. I confess, I just don't know what to do now. Mina, if you aren't too tired, perhaps you and I could have another try at hypnosis. I'm ready to do anything rather than stay under Dracula's yoke forever. Doctor, let's go. Your eyes are closing. Your spirit is roaming free. What do you see? I see a, a garden of stone, a, a shadow walking. He, he's coming to find me. I, I can hear voices. They'll make me go mad. Help me! Mina, you will sleep now. Sleep. Sleep. She describes the same scene at each session. I think the stone garden must be the cemetery at Highgate. Highgate, you say? Now that Mina is asleep, I can tell you that my visit to Carfax nearly cost me my life. But a man called Peabody was not so lucky. I found his body, and it seems that he worked at Highgate. Peabody, dead. He was investigating on my behalf. He said that he had seen some strange goings-on near a tomb decorated with a stone wolf. It's more than likely that the cemetery is where Dracula has his secret sanctuary. Take this key and go over there. It will be safer to go via the sewers. I shall stay here with Mina.
Sorry about this guys I forgot where to go Just in time, as the master said. It just needs your corpse, and my work will be finished. And then I shall get my reward. Prepare to die. Oh, but don't worry. I shall make sure it's slow and extremely painful. <laughs>
delicious. This fly is a real treat. Hopkins, what happened to Mina and Dr. Seward? Tell me. So you know my name. There's no need to introduce myself then. I've been dying to meet you. Let's dispense with the formalities. I've got to know what happened here. You're not in a position to demand anything. All you need to know is that the Master considered that the good Dr. Seward had become somewhat bothersome. And Mina? Madame Mina... Uh, the, 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 the Master wants her. He... She's with him. Yes, she's with him. 